Mistress, I found Tanrius and his wife's latest research. They discovered that if the Nexus isn't repaired, it will shatter the next time the ritual is held. Are you sure? Take a look. It says the spark is the only way to repair the Nexus. That appears to be the reason they ended up missing. I still haven't been able to locate them. Did you find anything else? Letters? Research? Last words? That's all. But I did secure the spark that Tanrius was looking for. Look! Incredible! I didn't know starite as pure as this existed in the world. In the deepest part of the Glittering Deeps is a colossal creature known as the Titan. The spark can be found on its body. This Titan is also the source of the mine anomaly, so now that it's been sealed away, the mine is safe. Well done. Not only have you resolved the mine anomaly, you also brought back the key to repairing the Nexus. However, regarding Tanrius' whereabouts... They... After entering deeps, they were attacked by rocklings. I doubt they'll be coming back. That's really sad to hear. I'll persuade Marissa to accept the fact. I hope she can. Does Abalone know? Things are difficult for her. I'll tell her later. So, you're doing what the Mistress has always wanted to do. I'm... <laughs> the Mistress has suffered so many grievances. Today, she will finally be vindicated. Has she always wanted to explore the Deeps? Do you still not understand? If not on account of Marvel's inaction and prohibition, why else would we endure the foul stench of the sewer? Because the Archon sealed off the Deeps. Look, just remember that what you achieve in the Deeps is critical to the Adherent's success. We speak. You seem surprised to hear that the Nexus might shatter. How serious will it be if it does? The Nexus is a symbol of the Spirit of Avis. It's also the source of our magic. You could say that all of Avis's glorious achievements are founded on the research and application of the Nexus. Without it, there'd have been no progress. Our lives could have turned out even more primitive and barbaric than those in Ambari. To lift the curse, we must run the risk of shattering the Nexus. But if the curse isn't lifted, then Avis is doomed. But please, keep this between us. If the other factions knew, they would never allow it. So... I must carefully consider the consequences. Tanrius did leave us a way to repair the Nexus. Is something else worrying you? I... well... I just hope everything goes smoothly. There's something else. Have you heard of Petrius' Freethinker Scholars? Hmm... yes. But there are only a handful of them. I thought they might even be just a legend. Well, I came across them in the deeps. Those Physikoi are obsessed with magic. What? You mean they actually exist? Yes, and they're unwilling to do anything that would harm life. They're directly opposed to Petrius' approach to research. That goes along with what I'd heard. Hmm, if used in the right way, then magic may be the best tool for developing a civilization. Hmm... What? Hilda, I'm very interested in the knowledge that the scholars possess. I'd really like to talk to them. Perhaps I could send Bion to meet with them, if they're willing. Sounds good. Is there anything I can do? If you have time, you could ask if they'd be willing to meet. Outside the shelter, naturally. So, just meet with you? Yes. There's one more thing. Minerva, I... saw Father. I see. Are you all right? Aren't you worried I might go after him? I am. But you chose to come back and tell me. That shows me you're not planning to betray our agreement. And for that, I am grateful. <sighs> As my commander, he ordered me back to Anbari. He says a soldier shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I don't know what I should do. I want to stay here, of course. But if I stay too long... I'd be disobeying an order. If I wait until this is over, I could be severely punished. 
You've had plenty of opportunities to return, and I haven't stopped you. So, why are you still here? <sighs> because if I leave Aphis like this, I know I'll regret it. And why not be a hero? Not everyone has the chance to stand on such a glorious stage. However, I understand that you're struggling. There are times when I question myself, too. We all face choices. The important thing is that we don't have any regrets. <sighs> Thank you. Please speak. I brought back several rubbings from the deeps. Did you see them? Yes, and good work. However, it looks like we're going to need someone who can translate them. Hmm. Can those freethinkers physicoi from the deeps do it? Probably not. But I know who will. The goblins. You mean those outsider thieves? But how? They're familiar with many languages, including ancient Ephesian. Let's have them try. Apart from Tanrius, I can't think of anyone else who'd be able to translate. I don't know. I don't trust them. They are thieves, after all. That may be. But they also owe me a favor. So I don't think they'll be able to refuse. Well, I trust your judgment. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Time is of the essence. I'm more and more impressed with you, Elda. For a thousand years, I followed orders and accompanied Tandrius and his wife into the deeps several times. But in the end, we were driven out by the monsters there. Your combat skills are good, but not good enough to clear out the deeps. How on earth did you do it? It was my father. He was also in the deeps. Hmm. That means that Eumenides must be planning something. I had no idea the Northwind Legion's commander was such a remarkable man. I hope I can meet him someday. If you want to meet my father when everything's over, I'll arrange it. Ooh, now that I'm looking forward to. I serve Lady Minerva. I found this dog tag in the glittering deeps. Is this Hastar? Oh, he gave me a lot of hard times. He'd often say highly inappropriate things. I was always worried he might anger his superiors. He was actually pretty good with a weapon. That was never the problem. It's just that, hmm. Anyway, I had to resolve quite a few cases where he was bullied, but he didn't know what the problem was. Sounds like someone who didn't quite fit in. Army life is highly stressful and requires discipline. I once saw him singing with some street artists, so he obviously could fit in with some groups. If he hadn't joined the army, he'd surely be living a free and unique life. That's just my personal opinion, of course. The glory of the three. What can I do for you? Mind your manners.
I heard that the voice in the deeps belongs to an ancient giant. <laughs> That's the craziest monster I've ever heard of. I don't think you can call him a monster. What? He's not a monster. Then what is he? A kind of god, perhaps. Nah, no way. Sweetie, if the three were around, they'd no doubt have defeated this giant straight away. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Thank you. Friend, did you find anything while you were exploring the deeps? I hear the place is incredibly rich in starite varieties. Tranquilite is particularly valuable. What? I can't just casually pick up ore. It's more trouble than it's worth. How can this humble servant be of service, friend? How can this humble servant be of service, friend? I look forward to your next visit, friend. from the deeps? Is there any news? Unfortunately, they'd already gone by the time I got there. No! I've been telling them to stop and to not leave me behind anymore. No! Oh. <laughs> what can I do? There's no one I can depend on! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lady Marissa. Your mother and father are both wise, amazing people. Oh, my hon! <laughs> Don't be sad, Lady Marissa. The mistress and the adherents are all behind you. And what about you, Lion? Can I rely on you? I... Um, I'm an adherent, too. So, naturally, I will help those in need. <laughs> if you ever want to talk, please let me know and I'll be right over. <laughs> what do you think? Marissa, I think your parents left this for you. A gift? Gods, I did ask them for a souvenir once, but it was just an excuse so they could leave without worry. I knew they would face danger. Sorry to hear that. I always asked them to stop, to not leave me behind anymore, but now... <laughs> they were doing important things for the city. I knew, but... Mother... Father... <laughs> oh, sorry, I... It's fine. I never had the courage of my parents. But what can I do now? My music might make everyone happy. So that's exactly what I should be doing. Right. Long for 
Forget it. At least I'm all right now. I'd better finish my mission first. <laughs>